Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, this channel is focused on video game collections and pickups. This video is going to be the end of the month pickups of May 2023, so these are all the games that I grabbed. Let's get into this video. I grabbed 18 Switch games this month. This one right here is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I remember playing this as a demo on a Best Buy kiosk. I thought, you know what, I need to grab this game because this game looks awesome. I'm not too much a fan of Kirby games in general, however, this one's awesome. Warrior Road Trees 4 Ultimate. I played the Dynasty Warriors while growing up, and this game is exactly the same thing. I've had a thrill playing this one. I just love fighting low power NPCs. Another one that we added was A Hat in Time. This one's sealed, and I might keep this one sealed. Fire Princess and the Blind Prince. This was a hard to find NIS America game that has shot up in value. I believe it was over $100 at one point new. But lengthily, uh, VGP able to reprint games with the help of developers. So that brings these games that are extremely hard to find and overpriced uh, down more affordable cost uh, for the actual public to pick it up. So this one I grabbed as well. Enter the Gungeon is like a Metroidvania platformer and it's a very, very popular game. It's similar to Celeste uh, in that sense, but it's obviously a very, very fun game and I know a lot of people enjoy it. Astral Chain is another game that I grabbed. This one is produced with Nintendo. Basically it entitles uh, two police officers that fight off enemies with bioweapons called legions. This one is a very very fun game and I've, I've been enjoying it. Eight Doors Down, a Drums Afterlife Adventure. This one is a 2D platformer. It's kind of got a little bit of a horror effect to it. However, it is a E10 game. Uh, this one is very fun, very unique. Vitamin Connection is similar to Osmosis Jones, the movie. This one is a limited run and it is number 59. Basically, you're flying through the human body on this pill as these two characters and you're attacking the virus that's inside the body. In Death's Door, you're a crow and you're fighting a bunch of enemies something to do with the underworld. Treasures of the Aegean, this is a 2D platformer. It involves a lot of uh, parkour, puzzle solving skills. This one is sealed. This right here is Bladed Fury. This is a 2D Japanese platformer and it's a very fun uh, video game. Right here is Human Fall Flat. This one I need to crack open. Uh, this one involves uh, kind of like a dummy running through the game and you move past certain objects without falling and, uh, and, and killing yourself. This is a game that's going to be a blast. Harvestella, this is a uh, newer game produced by Square Enix. It wasn't that popular, so I anticipated this one will go up over time. Here we have some super rare games. This is the last day of June. Uh, there is a bunch of super rare games that I'm after. However, I can only pick them up bit by bit. This one is number 53 by super rare games. And uh, I'm just gonna keep this one sealed. Another super rare game that we have right here is Sally Face. Uh, if you type Sally Face on YouTube, the first video that pops up is Jacksepticeye playing the game. I recommend you go give it a try and watch it. Uh, this one is number 65 for super rare games. Ghost of a Tale, another super rare games. This is number 43. One or three is a follow-up game to Runner 2. This is a theater rhythm game. This way I can describe it is to me it looks like it's Subway Surfers. The last Switch game that we've grabbed for the end of the month is Scully. This is a 2D platformer, also adventure puzzler type, and it's a very fun, cool, unique game. So that's it for the games that were added uh, for the end of the month. And there's obviously going to be more games next month and the year and the month after that. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video, please uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It obviously helps me grow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.